Joe Manganiello's time in Bond Timps left something to be desired. In a new interview, the True Blood actor admitted that he wasn't happy with how the supernatural drama concluded back in 2014. In fact, the abrupt and ignoble death of his fan-favorite character, the hunky werewolf Alcide Ervo, early in the final season of the HBO show left him eager to make up for it. I thought there was so much left on the table for me, Manganello, 47, said on Andy Cohen's Sirius XM show. The thing about it was they never planned for me to be on the show past one season. I was signed up as a guest star my first season, and when my character really broke and people really loved the character, they were kind of unprepared for that to happen. He continued, I wound up on the show for five years in total, but my character had to get out of the way so that Suki, Anna Paquin, could wind up settling the A and B plots with Bill, Stephen Moyer, and Eric, Alexander Skarsgård. And the only way to get me out of the way was, spoiler alert, you know, to shoot me in the face. I really felt like there was a lot that was left unexplored. As a result, Manganello said, I'm always on the lookout for like a good werewolf script for me because I feel like there's a lot of me that was unfinished. I have unfinished business in the werewolf department. Based on the novels of Charlene Harris, True Blood ran for seven seasons and was set in a world where the invention of synthetic blood allowed vampires to reveal themselves to the world and integrate into society. Alcide met his demise in the closing moments of the episode Fire in the Hole, when he was shot in cold blood by human vigilantes. The divisive series finale concluded with protagonist Suki Stackhouse saying goodbye to her on-again, off-again vampire Bo Bill Compton, while her other undead romantic interest Eric Northman became the face of a successful new blood product. As for Alcide's big death, Manganello previously told EW he was glad it wasn't in the hands of a vampire. I think that might have been emasculating, he said. He hates vampires so much, then he gets taken out by one of them? Is it better to get taken out by a nameless hillbilly? I don't know.